What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and today we're back in our free to play Town Hall 12 and we're going to be talking Pekka Bobat. Welcome back to the channel for another episode. Today we're on the Town Hall 12. Like I mentioned, we're going to be talking Pekka Bobat. This attack utilizes Pekkas, Bowlers, and Bats to crush Town Hall 12s. So I went ahead and I threw together a sample army for us. In here we got 5 Pekkas, we got 5 Healers, and we got 10 Bowlers. Now you can vary on this a little bit. You'll see some people take out one of the Pekkas and go with like 4 Pekkas, and maybe like 11, 12 Bowlers, even a little bit more funneling troops, maybe even wall breakers. But you'll also see them using a wall wrecker i'm gonna try this out with a log launcher i wanted to try this out with that new log launcher to bust through the base and open it up wide open so we can get our troops in there but the biggest thing with this attack is you got to get to the town hall especially if it's a level five town hall with that gigabomb and then we're going to be running in five bat spells with three freezes along with a couple rages and a poison so this is our sample army and one issue here is that our army is not upgraded here. We have level 7 P.E.K.K.A.s and we have level 3 Bowlers. So those are still a little bit lower. So the first step I want to take in today's episode is go to our laboratory. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to drop in the P.E.K.K.A.s. I don't think we quite have enough for the Bowlers yet. Not not quite. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll throw the P.E.K.K.A.s in here. Get them going up to level 8 here today. 14 day upgrade. But that'll be well worth it because this is a really powerful attack that you can use at Town Hall 12. And remember in our last episode we went ahead and we got our Town hall up to level five i want to spend a little bit of this gold before we go out here i think we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this inferno tower going up for eight million gold and then like we got these little traps and stuff but i just wanted to spend that initial gold and then we'll kind of revisit the upgrades a little bit later in the episode let me go find us a base and let me guys show you or let me show you guys rather the fundamentals of the pekka bobat oh my goodness guys so i wanted to like show off the fundamentals of pekka bobat but i can't pass this raid up like 1.3, 1.4, and 10,000 Dark Lister. It is a Town Hall 13, but that's not going to matter. So what I like to do with this is I like to do a little bit of a Queen Walk or even a Warden Walk here. I think a Warden Walk will be fine right here. So let's go ahead and like this. Uh, we could go with a Warden Walk into a Queen Walk. And then I'm going to use this Baby Dragon on this other side. A lot of times you can just use a P.E.K.K.A. And that's why I like to bring an extra P.E.K.K.A. is just to send the P.E.K.K.A. down the other side. Uh, but I'm going to let this Warden just walk here and just start out that funnel right there. Uh, and then as that warden gets going here, we're going to pretty much just send everything right up the middle of this base. So I'm going to let that elixir storage get taken out right there. Uh, once that elixir storage gets taken out, we're going to go ahead and switch this into a queen walk. So right now, we're going to go ahead and put the queen in. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and throw in a peck over here, peck over here. And then we're just going to send it all up the middle with our log launcher. And then we're going to send our bowlers in here as well. And it's pretty much all about just getting a funnel up the middle of the base for your troops uh, and as long as you get a decent funnel you're gonna have a good time with this attack now the log launcher is a little bit different like i mentioned a lot of times you'll use a wall wrecker uh, because sometimes you'll go like all the way across the base on this one but i feel like the log launcher can work especially against these centralized bases right here uh, so we do need to be aware of that town hall uh, and then in the clan castle i'm gonna run an ice golem uh pekka combination here Ooh, nothing went into that core that could be deadly all right, so I went ahead and I froze the town hall just to try to save some of our bowlers here. All right, Queen's going to get the town hall. We need to get that multi down so our bats can work through. And then we just need to be aware of where the wizard towers are or any remaining w multis or anything like that. And it looks like we got a wizard tower there and a wizard tower up top there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run in my bats, all five bat spells right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and freeze this wizard tower right there. And then we should have no problems getting through there. All right, wizard tower is going to go down quickly. And then we will run ahead. I could have used the freeze on that other wizard tower, or on that wizard tower again, uh, but decided against it. All right, we'll go ahead and throw that in. Bats are going to work through the top side, and then we can run in our cleanup up top here. And there we go, guys. There's a three star with the pack of bow bat with crazy insane amounts of loot now that wasn't really like an optimal base or anything like that but you kind of get the basics you want to send the funnel get the funnel established send everything right up the middle of the base get to the town hall and then send your bats in for cleanup i'll try to find us like a strong town hall 12 to kind of display this on but like i said we could not pass up that town hall 13 with all of that loot look at that loot 1.3 1.4 and 10,000 dark elixir you know we need that screenshot so let's go ahead let's keep that up let's keep moving with our pack of bobat all right guys let's give this one a go here i think what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of a queen walk right down here so let's go with our queen right here 
I think one of the issues we're going to run into is just not having those mechs, or not necessarily mechs, but higher level P.E.K.K.A.s. I'm going to go ahead and send in one P.E.K.K.A. right here just to clear out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and send the Warden with the Queen just to help boost her up a little bit. Alright, nice. And then I'm going to go ahead and we're going to have to rage this Queen because she's under heavy fire early. And then we'll send in, ooh, that's not where I wanted to send that in. I tried to select a P.E.K.K.A., didn't work out. That's okay, we'll make do. I really just need to get to that multi. All right, Queen is going around. That's that's fantastic. Queen is going around. Oh man, because we cut her off with the log launcher and everything else. That's all right. All right, guys. So let's uh, let's get moving. Let's go ahead and rage through here. Let's hit the Queen's ability. Let's hit the Warden's ability here to protect. All right, we do actually get access to that multi compartment, but man, the Queen going outside really hurt us. <laughs> that is not what I wanted to do at all. All right, let's see what we get here. All right, so king's working, queen's down. We do get the freeze on this multi. Let's go ahead and throw in uh, the bat spells right there on the multi since the ice golem popped on it. And then we'll kind of work around here. The king's tanking that top wizard tower for the time being. So we can keep an eye on that as our bats are starting to split all over the place. And we got one more wizard tower down here in the bottom that we need to get to. Tornado trap bats need to avoid it. All right, they do, perfect. And then let's go ahead and go right in here. All right, guys. I'm a little bit sloppy with the the P.E.K.K.A. bow bed. It's been a little bit. Um, perhaps the army needs adjust a little bit, but that one was kind of on me because I sent in the log launcher rather than the the P.E.K.K.A. that I was trying to send in there just to help clear out. But that's okay. Uh, we still got two P.E.K.K.A.s up. We got everything down. It's just clean up at this point. Sloppy! But effective. But like I said, once we get those Pekka's upgrading, we get our bowlers upgrading, it's going to make a big difference on this attack. So just trying to give you guys the outline here. Let's go back home. Let's get some upgrades going here. Uh, so let's go back home and check out. All right. So hmm, we got that uh, Inferno Tower upgrading. I think we got all the little stuff upgrading here. So let's go ahead. Let's start with, I guess let's just do these traps here because those will be cheap and we'll be able to get a lot upgrading here. And then we're going to just kind of have to rotate and try to keep our builders busy. So uh, let's see if we can get something a little bit bigger. Probably not, huh? Probably not. Maybe we can get a barracks. Yeah, let's see if we can get a barracks upgrading here at the end. Let's hit one more. All right, guys, let's check this one out. This will be the toughest one that we've had yet, but we need to practice. We need to work on it. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to send in the baby dragon just to clear out here ahead of our queen. We're going to go with our queen walk here. I'm going to send the warden with her. I'm going to go ahead and send... I'm going to send my king down this side right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and send the log launcher right up the middle. I'm going to send the king with a P.E.K.K.A. right there. Uh, and they should go down that side, no problem. And then we're going to send everything else right up the middle here, guys. So everything else all in right up the middle. Let's go ahead and let's hit the rage right there. Nice. And then we should get a little bit of a healer switch here. Healer switching off to the bowlers and stuff. Nice. And then we get everything going right up the middle. All right, we got a tornado trap spinning us around. Let's go ahead and hit the warden ability here to protect through that eagle shot. All right, we need the queen to step up and get the town hall down. All right, queen. Oh, queen. Our little baby queen is just not getting there. All right, hold on. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're going. We're going. Queen, queen, queen. All right, nice. All right, so let's see. We got a lot of wizard towers up, guys. We got a lot of wizard towers up. That is not good. All right, so let's run along. Oh, and we got a multi right there. This is not good. Let's run our bats right in here. All right, let's go just like this. Let's freeze here. All right, nice. I want to get to the single. That's why we're going in nice and early here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and run through this, get to this wizard tower, get that down. All right, we got this multi we got to deal with. That multi is going to be a giant pain in the neck. Oh, no, guys, this is not looking great. All right, let's freeze the multi. Uh, yeesh. Oh, all right. So the things I'm noticing are lower level queen, our lower level Pekka's, our lower level bowlers having a big effect on this. Like they're taking a lot of damage, not being able to get through like some of these core compartments, but that's all right, guys. I just want to work on the fundamentals. We want to learn. We want to be able to get through here. Uh, we do have quite a bit working. I don't think like really adjusting the army is going to make a huge difference right here. I just think it's just our lower level troops are the big difference maker here, but we're still going to get a really solid two star. Uh, we didn't have, we might need to add in another uh, freeze at some point. Uh, because I am noticing like a lot of times where 
uh, just kind of would need an extra freeze. But that's also part of like when you use this in war, that you're going to be able to adjust the army because you're going to be able to scout the base before you go in. But I mean, look at that. That's a, it's a 90%. That's decent. It's not a three star, but we get most of the loot. And that's usually what we're going for when we're farming. But I want to get those three stars, man, especially ahead of the CWL. But that's all right. Let's go ahead. Let's go back home here. Uh, let's get some upgrades going. All right. So, uh, oh, wait, we're a little bit short on that. Uh, all right. We're, we're a little bit short. Hold on. Do I have any? Yeah, let's use our metals. Let's go ahead and grab that. I'm going to go ahead and drop down one of the barracks right there, which will unlock yetis, which will be nice and fun. Let's go ahead and let's pop off a builder potion and let's... Keep at it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. We'll keep working on this attack as we develop our base and develop this account and get a little bit further in. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing. Wow, you watched that whole video? Here's another video that YouTube thinks you'll like, and here's a playlist of similar videos.